I just snapped and said I don't give an F about her dead baby. This woman befriended husband, he was 16 and she was 26. Yo guys, what's up, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be reacting to some Am I the A-hole, which if you don't know, although you probably do if you're watching this video, it is a Reddit thread where you kind of just read people's random stories and kind of decide whether or not they're the A-hole for doing what they did in the story. It can be pretty interesting and I think I found some pretty interesting stories for this video, so hopefully you guys enjoy. Either way, let's just start. The first story is, would I be the A-hole? Spouse's family invited X to baby shower. Husband and I have been married for 11 years with three kids. His side has maintained a friendship with his ex girlfriend that's not good that he dated on and off through end of high school and college he broke up with her a couple of months before we met i've tried to not object to my mother-in-law and i think sister-in-law keeping her as a friend even though it hurts my feelings and has made me feel less important to his side of the family through their behavior and words. I've expressed how I feel to my husband and he understands where I'm coming from, but didn't feel he could say, hey, y'all can't be friends with her. So it's been kind of an ongoing thing over the years. We live in the same small town as her, unfortunately, so running into her at community events has been inevitable and I've always tried to be polite. The problem is she's the crazy ex who wants my husband back. She has through the years texted, run into him, came into his bedroom at their house when she was with sister-in-law to surprise him. That definitely seems a little bit concerning, I won't lie. I mean, it just goes on and on. He puts his foot down, but his family enables it. This all accumulates to the past weekend. It's my sister-in-law's baby shower, her first one, and my husband's side invited ex and her entire family to the shower. Wow, okay. Without telling us, we were just bombarded with it. I felt extremely hurt and ended up telling my husband I needed to leave and we packed our family and left early. There was no acknowledgement on their part for what feels like a serious slap to my face. My husband reached out to his mom asking if she knew X would be there. Her only response to him was yes. He follows up with a well thought out text explaining how inappropriate and hurtful it, that was and how it isn't okay to keep this relationship going with his ex. She blew him off and accepted no responsibility. That's obviously not a good thing. I wonder like why his mom really cares whether or not the ex is there because I feel like she would only dislike the wife but like if the you know her son doesn't want the ex to be there then I feel like that would just she would just go with that maybe but I don't know I guess not am I the a-hole if I cut what feels like his toxic family out my husband says we can't and wants to give them a chance to change I feel like we've one given them plenty of chances two told them plenty of times and three I don't deserve this kind of behavior that is a decent point but I do understand where the husband would want to not cut off his family just because they're doing this I mean although it is obviously a little bit difficult to just avoid the person because they're not even telling them that they're going to be there. So they can't just not show up to the certain thing because they're going to be there. So I don't know. Internet strangers, let me know your thoughts as I feel I'm losing my mind with this. Thanks. Edit to add some details. X has admitted to husband that she stays friends with mother-in-law and sister-in-law to stay close to him. Wow. Okay. Husband claims he's told his mom and sister but that hasn't changed their stance it's kind of weird how this person uses like husband and ex instead of just giving them like a fake name i think that's a little bit easier to understand but either way you know yeah let's just continue my hurt feelings come from a bigger place and it's not just about x i don't have all the words to describe each event things like sitting at a table with family around sister-in-law talks about how all the girls should go get pedicures this week and they specifically don't invite me to go even when i'm sitting there i've told them it hurts me i've told my husband it hurts me there's been no change that's kind of intense i mean I, that's just really like I feel like that's like something that like popular kids do at school or something. I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Like in movies where they're like invite somebody but not invite like that specific person. It's like a shot from a movie. Like, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't feel like that would happen in the real world, but I guess it does. Either way, that's obviously extremely rude. I don't know if the wife is just like unbearable to them, but I mean, either way, I feel like you would just kind of invite the person unless you were really just trying to send a message that you don't want them around, which I think is what they're trying to do here. They will go on trips and exclude me, but suddenly X is there invited on their trip. She didn't flirt at the baby shower because I said I'm leaving before any interactions happened. It was a casual shower with just close family and a few friends and apparently X and her parents and siblings. Now this seems like a lot to go through to kind of just mess with the wife here. I don't know, maybe they're like a family friend and the wife is just kind of not saying that or, um, you know, just kind of trying to 
maybe think about like why they would be doing this because it's kind of just weird of them to do this so of course it could just be that they're doing this just to mess with the wife but i'm just saying that there might be another explanation and if there is it could be that they're kind of like family friends which would make sense in a way but i do think that either way you would just not invite them x makes a point at all the events to come talk to my husband and pointedly ignore me it's bad enough that my six-year-old daughter picks up on it and is confused and hurt by these interactions i don't understand that like what how does the six-year-old what is the six-year-old hurt by but i mean maybe i guess kids are sometimes very observant second edit this woman befriended husband when he was 16 and she was 26 26 freshly out of marriage with young children and she pursued him when he was a junior in high school she chased after him at his games she admitted she got a job with his dad's company to be closer to them he eventually had to fire her for inappropriate behavior and she has continued to chase after him over the years the coming into his bedroom was after he moved out and he was visiting an ex-used sister-in-law to put herself in that situation this is a big addition like i feel like she could have included this in the start because this is like a big thing here like 16 to 26 that's a 10 year difference why would the parents keep this person around like that doesn't seem like something that normal parents would do and i don't know how old the sister is either like i'm assuming it's his older sister but how much older is his older sister like is she 10 years older than this guy that seems kind of crazy that she would be friends with somebody who's older than her as well i mean i guess maybe not i guess you probably could be friends with somebody who's like 26 if you're like 20 i guess that makes sense yeah only six year difference that seems really out of nowhere and almost unbelievable because it's just like she didn't include this really big part at the start but that's kind of crazy if that's true mother-in-law and siblings have allowed this closeness to go in spite of me and my husband communicating how it hurts me after reading everyone's responses, things I need to do differently, but I'm also now wondering if there's a part of him that enjoys it as he hasn't put his foot down and told his family and ex he won't tolerate this anymore. It hurting my child and her seeing how bizarre this is is why I came to Reddit to see if I would be overreacting. Okay, so I don't think she is the a-hole for this just because it's pretty clear that she's not they're doing like deliberate things to just mess with her and that's obviously gonna make her kind of not over reacting necessarily i mean some of this obviously needs to be taken with a grain of salt because this is her story this is like from her perspective so i'm sure there are other details that maybe she doesn't know about but it does seem that she's not the a-hole for this and it does seem that this is a pretty bad situation i'm not sure if the husband is just you know fine with this and if he he likes it even i don't know i wouldn't have come to that conclusion myself but i guess it's possible who knows uh but yeah i don't think she's the a-hole for that but let's see what some of the other commenters say you are not the a-hole you're hurt you should never make him choose between you and his family though that is wrong probably true just make shorter appearances when this person is invited somewhere that's a good solution i guess yeah i mean maybe they'll get kind of like tired of inviting this person especially if they're just like not interacting or getting the chance to interact like there's no point in inviting them if they're not going to get the chance to interact with the husband or whatever your husband can tell his sister i'm dropping by to wish you well but we are not staying i'm not comfortable with my ex always being at my family functions if you want her to be there i respect that but i'll only be there to give you a hug gift and then i'm on my way leave it to the family yeah that makes sense that's definitely what he should do if the ex is there and that's bothering his wife he should just go in go out this story actually reminds me of ron swanson if you guys have seen parks and recreation he has this second wife in that show and her name is tammy but she's also like she was his nanny in the show <laughs> she was a lot older than him and then they still got married later but um yeah that's it's just kind of reminding me of that because you know the um the ex is obviously a lot older than him in this situation so yeah that came out of nowhere but not the a-hole you have a husband problem maybe cutting them out is a step too far too quickly maybe not i think it probably is a little bit too far just completely cutting off the family i think that that's a little bit much but it's well past time he grew a spine and put his foot down yeah he definitely should put his foot down but it sounds like he's kind of told them before they just aren't listening so i don't know if he's not telling them like 
harshly enough, but I do think that he is telling them. Either way, though, it seems that the conclusion for most people here is that it's, uh, you know, not the a-hole. So that's good. Let's move on to the next story. The next story kind of has a crazy title. It's Emma the a-hole for telling my sister that I don't care about the baby she lost. Quick intermission, the majority of people will be subconsciously overwhelmed by these options. Like, subscribe, or comment. One of those things will make you be different than the majority of people. So, you know, that might be fun. If that sounds fun to you, you can do it. If not, let's get back to the video. I, 20 male, and my sister, 23, have been very close since she lost her baby. She lost the baby at the end of 2022, when she was about five months pregnant. Obviously, our whole family was shocked and very supportive initially. However, I really tried to help her through this and get her back on her feet. Coming to her apartment to clean and cook her food, it also doesn't help that her baby daddy left shortly after. Well, at least it seems like he was gonna be there for when the baby was, you know, still alive. My sister was unable to work because of her depression, so my family would help chip in and pay her bills. She remained like this for seven months when my parents told her they couldn't support her anymore, when all she does is lay in bed and smoke a lot, like 24 seven. But they don't know that. Well, that does not seem like that would be a great habit. I wonder if it's just like a cigarette or a cigar like that, or like if it's something else. But back to the story and that she at least needs to look for a job. She lashed out and said she needs their support now more than ever. Regardless of them, I began to solely support her. Mind you, I still live with my parents and attending school. Wow, that's kind of a lot. That brings us to last Friday. I have about three semesters left of school and money has been getting tight, not good. I told my sister that I really need to start saving and that she needs to get a job or just move back in. She lashed out on me saying that I could never understand, 100% true, and that I was a terrible brother for even mentioning it. I said, excuse me, that's a great reply. I mean, he's been taking care of her for forever or whatever, you know, seven months or looks like a little bit longer. I've been paying your bills for over a year. Okay, over a year, that's crazy. And have been the only one trying to help her get over this. She began yelling at me and calling me terrible names. I just snapped and said, I don't give an F about her dead baby. I think it's pretty known that you say stuff that you don't mean when you're angry. So that kind of makes sense there. But yeah, let's just keep reading. I helped her because I love my sister. I just want what's best for my sister. I want her to recover. I told her this and she just started attacking me. I just left. Wow, okay. So she was attacking him. I wonder if that was like actual physical hitting. I'm assuming it was. I doubt he got super hurt though because uh, he's writing this on Reddit, but who knows? The next morning, my parents sat me down and told me what I said was very wrong and rude. I explained what happened and how I still continued paying her bills after they stopped. They just went quiet and then just left. My mother grabbed my shoulder and told me that my sister started applying for jobs. I really feel bad, but also to a certain degree, it worked and she is at least looking for work. I know my sister will forgive me eventually, but I still feel bad. Am I the a-hole? This one is actually a little bit more difficult. Uh, it does seem like he meant that he doesn't care about the dead baby, which I guess makes sense in a way. Like the baby wasn't there. Like if the baby had been born and it was like this kid and then, you know, died, that would be obviously a little bit more sad for him, but he didn't know the baby. And I think it would be, it was obviously a lot more sad for the sister instead, but uh, for him, it was just kind of, he wanted to help his sister, which I understand. Uh, maybe telling her, I guess, wasn't the best idea. It does seem like it was a little bit rude though. So I could see people saying he is the a-hole for that, but I don't think overall he was being an a-hole for, you know, he helped her for so long and then she just kind of said that he wasn't a good brother, which is just kind of crazy actually. So I do think that it was an understandable lash out from him. You know, I'm sure he was already stressed. He was already resentful of his sister for making him pay all of her bills. And, you know, even though she didn't really make him, he, you know, may have seen it like that. And that could have been kind of weighing on his mind. And then that's kind of just what happened after that. So I do think it was an understandable lash out. So I would say not the a-hole, but I don't know. Let's see what other people say. You shouldn't have said you don't care about the baby, but she was clearly in a hole she had no intention of climbing out of. True. And sometimes the only way to help people like that is to toss in a stick of dynamite and blast them out. That's an amazing analogy, which is precisely what you did. The question is how much did it help? And I have a feeling the answer is not a whole lot. Another person says not the a-hole, the soft approach wasn't working. Even the mildly harsh approach wasn't working. I.e. your parents bowing out of supporting her wasn't enough. She needed a true shock to the system to get her life restarted. Honestly, she never should have been supported like this. Idleness is the number one enemy of moving on from grief. When you have no choice but to focus on continuing to live, you 
move on because you have to. Wallowing in grief is a luxury and one that doesn't improve anyone's life. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. So yeah, I think it was a mistake to keep paying her bills after the parents stopped. I do understand where he was coming from with that, where he would want to help her, but yeah, he probably shouldn't have done that. It uh, definitely didn't help him, and I don't think it would have helped her. Unfortunate that he did, but now he kind of knows for next time, I guess. Another person says, not the a-hole. Hopefully, she can actually accept a job. If she smokes, not sure if it's marijuana or if it's legal where you live. Okay, so the original poster actually replied to um, this, and uh, it says, not legal, but yes, marijuana. So it was something else, so it's not just a cigarette. It seems like the conclusion is that he's not the a-hole for this. Uh, she kind of needed that to snap out of the rut that she was in or whatever. Um, so hopefully she does and yeah, let's move on to the next story. Okay, so the third story is, am I the a-hole for not keeping a promise with my best friend that was made 10 years ago? My best friend and I are in our early 30s. When we were young, around our 20s, we were both single at that time for a long time. She then said that if one of us was still single when we hit 30 and the other one was not, then the married one adopts the single one. So neither of us would stay alone. I was thinking it was gonna be one of those things where it's like, if you're both 30 and you're both single, then you're gonna get married but it's actually not. This one's a lot weirder, I think. Anyway, back then I said, that's the deal. And I didn't think any more of that because for me, it's been like a silly joke. Now we're in our thirties. She just turned 30 last month and is the single one while I am married. Yesterday, she reminded me of her deal, what we had 10 years ago, and I jokingly replied that she can move in tomorrow. She then said that she would need a couple of days to pack all of the stuff that she needs and that she would move in with us. Because I realized how serious she was, I asked if she meant it in a serious way because for me, it's a joke. And of course, she can't move in with me and my husband. She then accused me of being a bad friend because I didn't keep my promise from 10 years ago and she would have let me move in if she was the married one and I single. Then I told her that even though I would appreciate that, I wouldn't accept her to do that because I understand that I have nothing to do in someone's household as a grown woman. I also explained to her that I didn't think that she was serious because for me, it's common sense that this is not serious. There are so many aspects that need to be considered, space, my partner, etc. And also at some point, everyone has their own life. She didn't take this well at all. She offered that she could be our maid. I refused. I apologize for not making it clear that it wasn't a serious promise for me. And if she needs any help in the future, I am okay with her staying temporarily, but not permanently. She still thinks I am the worst friend now that doesn't keep her promises and leaves her hanging down. I, I don't understand why somebody would obviously think that this was like something that they would do. She clearly has no idea like what the social norms are. You know, obviously she is 30 and she's not married. So that could be kind of like a sign, but uh, it does seem maybe like, I don't know why like she'd be the maid. That's kind of weird. It seems like she just wants to live with the friend. So maybe she kind of likes the friend is what it kind of seems like. That's what I would assume anyway, because um, you know, that's what it seems like. It's kind of weird for anybody to think this unless you just really wanted to move in with this friend. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I think. Um, but I, she's clearly not the a-hole for not accepting this. This is crazy, dog. <laughs> Who would be adopted by their 30-year-old friend? Can you even do that? I thought that you could like only adopt it like up to, I guess, no, you can adopt uh, at any time, huh? But yeah, anyway, let's see what other people have to say about this. Not the a-hole. Does your friend have a life? Enough said. Not the a-hole, but your friend sure is weird. So yeah, obviously the conclusion is that she's not the a-hole. This is a crazy story. You know, makes you kind of disbelieve it. I don't know. Feels like it's not real. Maybe it is. Who knows? It could be, especially with people nowadays. You know, they're kind of weird. So it could be real, but I'm going to take it as real because it's on here. Somebody posted it. You know, interesting. Okay, guys, that's it for the video, though. Hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely enjoyed making this. This is my first long-form type of video on my channel. Well, kind of. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's my first content long-form video. Uh, so maybe comment down below if you guys enjoyed it. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah. Sometimes I get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad, I'm like... I might grab a bat, I don't know my wrath, my blood boils over like Oh God, here goes, I lost all feeling from my head to my toes You said some shit that I can't let go, so just stay tuned for the rest of the show